So for the 2014 Sportsman, uh, we're gonna be doing the upper and lower control arm bushings. So they're right there's one, two, three, four. There's two bushings on each bolt. Um, I already did the other side, so we're just gonna do this side. Pretty much, you have to take your hub assembly off. Uh, I already had those off because I was doing the uh, wheel bearings. So that's all stripped off already. Um, we'll start with that. Then you do your lower shock bolt, and then uh, you move your shock out of the way. And then the joy of getting those 15 millimeter bolts uh, for each A-arm. Uh, the, the, the front ones are the hard ones to get to. The back ones are relatively easy. Uh, so let's get into it. So we got both upper and lower control arms out. Um, like I said, there's the two bolts up here, one on each side. There's that one, this one here for the uppers, and then the lowers down here, and then down here. The front of both the upper and lower, so like your nut is right in there, and then up behind the radiator fan is the other nut. So what I use is a swivel at a 90, and then you can sneak right in there and get to those two. But uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna change out the bushings in both upper and lower, get this back installed, get the wheel bearing and all that assembly back on, and we'll go from there. So I'll show you how to do these uh, real quick. There's a plastic bushing on each end, so I take a pair of pliers and just twist it, work it out. These ones are pretty worn, so they're going to come right out like that. And then do the other side, just like that. And there is a metal sleeve in the, in the bushings, so you have to save that. Sometimes these do get worn. It's not the case with this machine. So we are able to wipe them off, reuse them, and we'll apply new grease once we get it all together. So just like that. Our bag of new bushings. These are Polaris OEM. I think the whole front end was like, I don't know, hundred bucks. get them started and I just take a small hammer and just tap them in and you'll hear the difference when they seat and then put your new bushing in that in just like that and then we'll go ahead and do the same with the other three but I'll show you with the grease gun usually like three and a half four pumps and that's what you're gonna want when you're all set so I'll go ahead and finish up the other ones and then we'll get it back in. So everything's back in. Uh, the lower control arm is tight. The upper one is tight. Everything's been greased, new bushings. Uh, gotta go ahead and tighten up the lower shock bolt. 
uh, attach my brake line and put the whole hub and everything back together and then we're pretty much just gonna button it up the uh, the rest of the quad is done all four bearings um, all new brakes <laughs> Uh, the other side I already did the bushings and all that just wanted to kind of show you guys how the whole process goes um, so yeah let's get to it um, here's another time-lapse